everybody, my name is Lori and welcome to The Icing Artist. So this week I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a 3D teapot cake. So let's get started. So I'm going to bake my cake in this oven proof bowl. I'm going to bake two of them so that we have the top and bottom of my teapot. I'm just going to trace the outline of the bowl on a piece of cardboard and cut that out and that's going to be my template for my spout and my handle. So I've just rolled out a log of gum paste and I'm just curling around the one tip and this is going to be for the handle. I'm going to place that against my template and then cut that on an angle. I'm just going to take some toothpicks, dip them in water and insert them into the handle. The toothpicks are going to help support the weight of the spout and the handle once they're inserted into the cake. So I've also made the spout here and I'm also going to cut it on an angle and that's just to the curve of the template that I have. Put some toothpicks in that as well and I'm just going to create a little hole here for the spout. So I've already baked both of my cakes and divided each of them into two sections. And I'm just going to put a layer of buttercream in between each section. Once I have two layers down, I'm just going to tear my cake and that's because the teapot's a little bit top heavy and I didn't want the weight of it to kind of push in and crack it or anything. So I'm just going to put four straws equally into this section of the cake and then put a cake plate on top of that and then stack the rest of my cake. And I also have just a small um, little cake that's gonna go on top and that's gonna be for the lid. I'm just gonna start carving around the bottom of the cake and carving around the lid just to make it more of a teapot shape. So if the lid was a little bit too big, I'm just gonna make that a little bit smaller. I'm just gonna cut one big straw to go down the entire cake and that's gonna hold everything together. Now I'm going to get ready and crumb coat my teapot. So I'm just going to do a thin layer of buttercream and then make that nice and smooth and stick that in the freezer for about 10 minutes. And I'm just going to roll out my fondant. I'm just using white fondant. I thought I'd just fast forward through this and show you exactly how I rolled it out. And I'm just going to lay that on top of my cake using my mat and then peel my mat off. That's going to leave the fondant on my cake. Now I'm just going to pull out around the bottom and then smooth out the sides. So as you can see, I'm just lightly pulling out the bottom and then slowly kind of going down the cake and making sure there's no wrinkles or creases in the cake. I'm just going to use my finger to help run an edge around the lid. And since it's a round cake, I'm just going to use some fondant to help make it nice and smooth and then trim off any excess fondant. And then I'm just going to use my veining tool to push in around the bottom of the cake so that way I can get a nice and close trim. Now I'm just making the lid. As you can see, I just use a ball of fondant and I kind of push down around it and then I've covered that in some more fondant so that way I can kind of push this down around the lid. And then with the seam, I'm just going to cover that in this little strip of blue fondant and wrap that around. And I'll put a flower on the seam later. And then for the handle, I've just taken a ball of fondant and then cut off the tip of it and using a little bit of water to glue that on. I've also done a strip of fondant around the bottom of my cake. Now I'm gonna insert my gum paste handle and the spout. Uh, I've already made all of these decorations that I'm going to decorate the cake with, all the flowers and butterflies. I've done them on a teacup cake, just so that way this video isn't too long. So I'll leave a link after this video and you can go right to that video and learn how I made all the decorations as well as this teacup. So I'm just going to take my decorations I've already made and start putting them onto my cake. And I'm doing that just using some water. And since there's not a lot of contact area between the flower and the cake, you might have to hold them on for a little while. So you might have to hold the flower on for about 30 seconds so that way they stay. But once they're glued on, they're not likely to fall off. They're likely to just stay in place. So I'm just going to do a different arrangement of flowers and leaves and, and blue flowers and little buds and stuff. 
And then I'm going to do this really pretty vines going around the cake. I'm just going to push in there so that way I can stick my butterfly on that. As well as the... I'm just going to put another butterfly on the lid. Now I did originally see this design online and I loved it. I loved all the flowers. I thought they were very bright and beautiful. So I wanted to recreate it here and I made a matching teacup. So since it's a 3D cake and it's going to go all the way around, you're going to want to cover the whole cake in flowers and butterflies and everything. So that way when you turn it around, you can really see all the flowers and all the different areas of the cake. And it's, it's quite stunning. I had so much fun making that teapot cake. I mean, I think it's actually probably one of my favorite cakes that I've ever made. Just the fact that it was three dimensional and it was really big and it was actually kind of looked like a teapot with a little matching teacup. I think it was gorgeous. It's actually not that hard. It looks a lot more complicated than it is. So I hope that you guys get a shot and hope you guys really enjoyed it. And if you're new to the icing artist, welcome to my channel. I put out new videos every Tuesday and I would love for you guys to subscribe and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all later. Click here if you'd like to see my gum paste teacup tutorial.